Hello, welcome to Horror Monster Collectibles, where today we're going to be taking a look at this super awesome piece. Uh, I've had it for a long time and I'm finally getting around to doing a review on it. Uh, but it is the quarter scale premium format mummy. Now this is obviously from the 1932 movie, The Mummy, uh, which The Mummy was portrayed by Boris Karloff. And this setup is so badass. Uh, it includes um, obviously the mummy and sarcophagus and a badass base with a scarab and idol. Uh, it can even be wall mounted, uh, although I would never have set it up that way, um, but you can if you so choose. And uh, there was only about 350 of these made and it's a grail for many, many people. Uh, and it's about 23 inches tall. It's a rather big piece, uh, but I absolutely love it. So let's spin this around and take a closer look at all of the pieces. All right, let's go ahead and start with the base. Uh, we have a little scarab here <clears throat> and the idols. Now uh, the base, obviously you can display it with a sarcophagus closed, but you can also display it with it open, which I choose to do and we will take a look at here shortly. I kind of wanted to show you all the details on here first. And I had been putting off this review just because I know what a pain in the ass it is to look at all of this stuff. There's a lot going on here and it is a heavy piece. So it was not going to be easy. And I put it off, but I figured now it's probably a good time since I had some days off. But there is a look at the base. And here is the top of the sarcophagus and it features a strong magnet to attach itself to the bottom of the sarcophagus so if you wanted to mount it on the wall uh, you don't have to worry about it falling off which is very nice but again um, i kind of always shied away from that But the detail here and likeness to the movie is just incredible. Obviously we have Boris in that sculpt. And just loads and loads of detail work. And here is the backside of this piece. And here is a close-up shot of the mummy, which is a very authentic likeness to Boris in the movie. And just tons and tons of detailing here on the wrap. You can see all the Hieroglyphics inside the sarcophagus. And the way it's wall mounted, uh, we have two holes in the back of here, and you can just have the mummy in the back of the sarcophagus on the wall. Uh, he is fitted in there with a magnet feature that holds them in place. We will pull them out of there in a second. I wanted to get some decent shots for you of him in the coffin or sarcophagus. And here is a closer look at the mummy. Now they've hid the uh, magnet features very well. 
I don't even know exactly where they are, but there are some magnets back here to hold the top of the body in and then uh, down at his feet. Forgive me for holding him like this, but uh, unfortunately he doesn't really stand on his own as he's meant to be locked in place on the sarcophagus. So this is kind of how I have to show him when he's out of it. But the sculpt work on here is absolutely fantastic. All right, guys, that's about all there is to go over on this piece. Uh, I love it. Um, it's a favorite of mine. I know I say that a lot, but uh, this really is. And um, it's back from Sideshow's uh, Prime, in my opinion. So uh, probably about 10, 15 years ago. And uh, back then, when they had this universal license, they were just pumping out so much badass stuff, uh, especially in these quarter scale figures, uh, obviously like Wolfman and Dracula and Frankenstein's monster and mummy uh, creature, just so much badass stuff. Um, they had black and white versions of them as well that were even smaller runs than the standard ones. Um, I typically, I shied away from collecting the black and whites. I like the color portrayal. Uh, more personally but um, to each their own on that I must certainly uh, love the black and white versions uh, I just kind of got some colored versions and I stuck to that as far as the complete set the sculpt work on this thing is absolutely phenomenal um, you can really see Boris in the sculpt uh, I thought he did a great job in the movie the mummy movie um, he's probably obviously most no known for portraying Frankenstein's monster, but uh, he did a great job in many other movies as well. And uh, he was just a phenomenal actor, even though a lot of times back in back then doing all that makeup uh, was really hard on the actors um, as it is today. But you can imagine how bad it was back then with as crude of instruments as they had and the many, many hours of getting set up for shots. But anyway, hopefully you guys uh, enjoy the Universal Classics as much as I do. Um, and hopefully you guys love this piece. Uh, again, I really, really love it and then I never plan on it leaving my collection. You can still find them pop up from time to time. They are a bit pricey, uh, but they are well worth it. And I definitely recommend them. Uh, as always, feel free to leave any questions or comments and I'll be happy to answer them. And I will leave you with a 360 uh, view of the mummy in the sarcophagus open. And I'll leave you with some studio shots at the end of this. And uh, as always, feel free to like and subscribe and click the bell for notifications for new videos. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.